bruh? This week, we chasing that paper with Death of a Salesman by Arthur Miller. Crusty old salesman Willie Loman ain't been slinging shit lately. Not only is his family flat broke, but years in the sales game done run his ass down, and now his mind be slipping. Fool even been in a car accident, and his wife Linda think Willie wanna end it. And what's really been rubbing Willie's shit raw is that his oldest son Biff ain't done a damn thing with his life, and Willie don't know why. To Willie, Biff had it all. He was a high baller back in high school, but these days, he ain't living the life Willie want him to. Later, when Willie start tripping to Biff's face about being a scrub, Biff all like, stay chill, pops. After I meet with my old Playboy boss, I'ma start my own business with my bro Hap, and the world gonna be swinging from my nuts. You'll see. Next morning, Willie stepped to his boss to ask for a little slack with the traveling, but instead of hooking a brother up, the boss straight up fires his bitch ass. Shit, man. Later, the Biff, Willie, and Happy hook up for some grubbing. Biff try to tell Willie that his interview went bump, but Willie ain't even listening and starts spilling his guts about being fired. Then Willie flashes back to that time in Boston when Biff came a knocking to see his pops, and we find out why they've been beefing for so long. Turns out it wasn't flunking mad that made Biff stop giving a f about sh. See, when Biff got to Willie's hotel room, he found out his dad been getting nasty with some chicken head hoochie behind his mama's back. Mm. Scandalous. While Willie's doing all this reminiscing, he heads to the bathroom and starts talking to himself. Biff and Happy decide to ditch his ass and go party with some honeys instead. When they back home, Mama gets crunk on everybody's ass. After getting all up in each other's grills, Biff decides he's leaving for good and says, Look, Pa, I'm just some regular ass dude just like you. Drop that bullshit dream before it destroys you. But Willie only hear what he want to hear. Thinking he's hooking his boy up, he peeped that life insurance policy, gets up in his hoopty, and takes his last lonely ride. Years of pushing product just to end up cashed out back on a struggle? While all literary cats agree that sucks a fat one for Willie, they don't all agree that it makes him a tragic hero. Some think there ain't nothing tragic about a regular ass street thug, a low man getting dumped on. Cause that's just life, son. Old school scholars say that if you're of low birth, it ain't possible for you to be a tragic hero cause you ain't great, ain't wasting no potential at all. But up in the land of the American dream, we're all supposed to be equally great. If you bust your ass hard enough, you can get those briefcases full of big faces, right? Willie don't just sell goods, he also sell himself. That fake smile he used to hustle homies been branded on his mug so long that the real Willie ain't even there no more. So in the end, chasing that dream don't leave Willie with everything, it leave him with nothing. And to this thug, that's a damn tragedy, man. Peep this fine stage direction, son. Before the play start, we getting hit in the face with some contradictions, yo. We hear a flute laying down some fresh beats that put images of freedom in your dome, but on the real, the visual showing us Willie's broke ass house trapped by big ass buildings. What our characters want is freedom, but they trapped in a world of business bills and bullshit that won't let them have it. But hold up, it ain't all gotta be depressing, B. The title Death of a Salesman ain't just referring to Willie, but to Biff too. Some say Biff the hero of this story, cause by the end of the play, Biff ain't about rolling fake and giving it all up in a desperate grab for success. Nah, man, he know that ain't the right dream for him. When Biff is having it out with his pops, he say, I stopped in the middle of that building and I saw the sky. I saw the things that I love in this world, the work and the food and time to sit and smoke. And I looked at the pen and I said to myself, what the hell am I grabbing this for? Why am I trying to become what I don't want to be? What am I doing in an office, making a contemptuous begging fool of myself, when all I want is out there, waiting for me the minute I say I know who I am. The American dream ain't the only dream you gotta have. And just cause you throwing that to the curb, don't mean you can't be free. Freedom comes from recognizing who you are. Catch y'all later. Peace.